Hi and welcome. I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or blog for another card tutorial. Today I'm sharing the new Concord and Ninth Sweet Strawberry Stamps and Dies along with a few other products that will be linked below and you can find them listed on my blog post as well. I will be showing you how I use my ink pads to layer inks onto solid image stamps allowing me to create a look much like what I get when I'm coloring with markers. And this technique is a great way to stretch the use of our ink pads and it's perfect for the new card maker who may not have a lot of colored markers or pencils. I want to give you a quick look at the Sweet Strawberry Stamps and Dies. I love this set because it has solid images and I really enjoy using my ink pads. The dies are so perfect paired with the stamp set but you can use it as a standalone set creating fun cards with patterned papers. So I have my stamp positioning tool uh, along with a piece of 110 pound Nina cardstock ready to go. You want to start by laying the stamps with some space in between them, allowing you room to work around them. I also like to think about how I'm going to position the stamped images on my project and laying them out that way since I'm going to be adding shading to them. I'm using five ink pads, four shades of red and a gray ink. However, all you really need are the three shades of one color, a dark, medium, and light shade. I'm working light to dark in this video, but you can work dark to light, and that is completely up to you. I'm going to start by applying the lightest ink straight to the stamp, making sure to cover the whole stamp, close the lid, and stamp it. And you don't have to have a solid stamped image for this first step. Remember, we are building layers with this technique. So I'm going to grab the next shade of ink. I'm going to hold the ink pad level. And while holding the ink pad level, you want to tilt one corner down. Applying ink to the stamp with just that corner. And by doing this, it allows you better control with the application of the inks. Think of that corner of the ink pad as a marker tip and the stamp as a piece of paper. So start applying ink to the stamp, making sure to not cover the entire stamp. We really want to leave some of the lightest area untouched. And we're just going to continue adding ink, remembering the darker the ink, the less area we cover on the stamp. So here we are with the darkest shade of red. And I want to show you how we are only applying a very thin line of ink to the stamp. I want to work the ink pad around the whole stamp, but once I start applying ink to the top of the berries, I want to make sure I'm on the very edge of the stamp. If you happen to lay too much ink down, you can remove some of it before stamping, and I just use my finger to do that. Now this next step might seem scary at first, but I promise it's worth the scare factor. I'm going to use a gray ink to intensify the color on the very bottom side of the berries. You can see I'm only adding a very small amount of gray ink. And if you feel you've laid too much ink down, I recommend cleaning the stamp and reapplying the gray ink. I love when I start seeing that dark shadow on the bottom. So here's a tip to try while doing this technique. When applying the ink to the edge of the berries, try sweeping the ink pad as if you're writing the letter C. Give that a try sometime and you will be surprised at the difference it makes. Once you try this technique and you feel you get a feel for it, you'll start to add strokes with the ink pad that gives your images a wow factor. And at this point, you just want to reverse the process to allow the inks to blend together, working from dark to light now. I'm going to speed the video up and zoom in so you can have a better look at it. And you can see how the inks start blending themselves together using the same technique to stamp the caps for the strawberries working from light to dark again with the caps on the strawberries. So while I have everything here at my fingertips, I am going to stamp the sentiments using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. 
So I went ahead and did all the die cutting off camera to save some time. I die cut the berries, caps, and white flowers using the Sweet Strawberries dies. I colored the center of the flower with a yellow Copic marker Y08. I used My Favorite Things Elegant Rectangle Stacks to die cut frames using desert cardstock and pattern papers. I'm going to use Gina K Connect Glue to assemble all my die cut frames and adhere to my card base. I'm adding 3D mounting tape to the back of the sentiment and then center that on the card base. I'm going to continue assembling the card by adding 3D mounting tape to the berries and flowers and placing them on the card. And to finish the card, I'm placing a few honeybee stamps opals confetti using clear liquid adhesive. And I do believe that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me today and that you will give this technique a try sometime. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified when I release new content. And be sure to subscribe to my website at www.lisamensing.com. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And until next time, my friends, keep crafting.